Alright guys, welcome back. I decided to make a video today uh, while showing how to get your Twitch chat, YouTube, Facebook, any of those up uh, while you're in VR. You know, I know some guys are even using it to, uh, to watch movies like when they're playing Elite Dangerous and you know, those longer missions. Um, okay, so we're going to grab uh, Open VR Desktop Display Portal. Um, I'll link this in the description below. Uh, there is a, a paid version that is the, the final product. You know, I'm sure they're going to keep updating as well. It's a great product. I definitely endorse grabbing it. It's only like $14.99. You know, it's OVR drop on Steam. You know, click, download, install. It's got way more features than the than the free one, but if you just want to try it, see if you like it, you know, uh, def definitely do it. Um, but like I said, guys, it, support them if, if you do if you do like it and, you know, and can use it. Um, so, I'll, like I said, I'll link this in the description below. Go on and grab. This is the one I'm, I've been running. It runs great. Uh, open VR Desktop Display Portal 1.0.6 Alpha. Just right here. Click and grab the zip folder. And when it downloads, uh, undo the uh, undo the zip. Hop in here. And uh, right here it is. Uh, I mean, there's no real install to it at all. You just double click on it. It's a uh, Unity application. It's going to fire up your Steam VR. And, uh, and then you're in. So, uh, yeah, that's that's basically it, guys. Um, I'll do a quick little, uh, and I'll show one or two games with it here. There you go, guys. Uh, here's the window up. You can have, I mean, your whole display up. You can put it anywhere you want. Um, you can put it on the back side of your thing here. So let's bring this up here. Oops. Get rid of that. There we go. Bring it up here. Uh, tell it what you want. Let's see. Let's see. Google Chrome there, and then what you want to do is make sure uh, oh, there it is. You can adjust the chat window. Let's bring that back up again, guys. Um, put it on the left controller. Put it below flipped. There you go. That's behind me. That up. That's above. Did I click on above? No, that's below. There you go. Just not paying attention, I guess. Above, above. There you go. So yeah, it's definitely, you know, you, you, it's a lot of, um, there's a lot of messing with it, guys, uh, just to figure out how to get it finessed. But there you go. Yeah, so it's hidden behind it so we could actually play. That's actually the wrong spot for me. Uh, I think it's, da, 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 what was it? flat below yeah right there so this is how I play right here so I'll hop into it here you're playing you can just flip it up and I will tell you it covers everything see you guys just like that anyway that's basically it it's on the screen behind us here so right there and voila it, it blocks out everything so that's about the problem with it you can see i'm actually taking my hand here it is rotating it backwards so i can see it here you can actually interact see Ooh, click on stuff there you go like i said i just can't stay still enough but yeah there you go that's that's the easiest way to get, to do it like i said there's some people they um with the newer one the one that's on steam can actually rotate your wrist like that and it'll actually pop up um the free version there's probably a way to set that up i just have not done it yet but this is what i've been doing you know when you when you're really getting it you know it might show up just for a second you know but there it is it goes yeah everywhere anyway hope you guys enjoyed and uh if you have any questions feel free to let them in the comments below we'll see ya